Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem maximum level sum on binary tree taken from lead code and we'll be solving this problem using BFS. So the question is simple, you are given a binary tree, of course implemented using structure and pointers in C++ and depending upon certain other level, uh, languages, the implementation may differ. Uh, so we are given a binary tree and we have to find the sum of, uh, and, and each node, node is having certain integer value okay for example this node is having 7 this is minus 8 and so on so what you have to do for each level you have to calculate the sum of values of each node level 1 is having some 1 level 2 is having some 7 level 3 is having some minus 1 and out of calcul uh, after calculating level sum uh, you have to print the level which is having the maximum sum so the answer for this would be 2 right because level 2 is having the maximum sum if there are multiple level having the maximum sum then print the level uh, print the minimum level okay so the prerequisite for this problem is bread for search that is bfs algorithm from graph algorithm series so i have a course if you do if you haven't learned about bfs so you can go go ahead and check out the course that i have on my channel uh, graph algorithm series okay so you can check out bfs algorithm from there if you have no idea just go ahead and learn bfs first because uh, if you have no idea about bfs algorithm you won't be able, uh, able to understand the solution of this problem so as you can see here uh, this is the example and the answer of this is 2 okay we we only have to return the uh, level number so if i show you the implementation here you see since uh, it is implemented using structure and each node is a tree node so what we are going to do we are going to create a queue of course in bfs we use queue right instead of uh, inserting only nodes what i'm going to do i'm going to insert two things node pointer to node and also uh, the level okay so what we do we start from the root in bfs and then root is at level one this is uh, at, this is already explained in uh, in the problem statement that root is at level one so so i'm inserting root along with its level and this array will store the level sum of each level maximum level since we do not know how many levels are there uh, maximum level i've already defined with one and i'll be fine uh, keep i'll be keeping track of how many levels are there in this binary tree uh, i'm initializing the level sum to be zero after that the normal uh, BFS algorithm that runs you run while queue is not empty you take out the node uh, node uh, queue dot front right but since it's, it's a pair so for, uh, first represents the node current node and the second represents the level so I'm maximizing the level to find out how many levels are there after that you pop right from the queue this is the standard BFS algorithm till now and since this node is at this level so the it would uh, contribute to level sum at this level so simply adding the value of current node as you can see the structure has val which represents the value of current node so i'm adding just a second i'm adding value of current node to the level sum right after that you check whether the left node is empty left child exists or not for that you can check the null pointer here you see the tree is initializing the left and the right pointer with null pointer so if it is null pointer that means left child doesn't exist uh, doesn't exist same goes for the right if left child does exit we are inserting left and level would be the level of current pa basically parent plus one S same goes for right and this is standard bfs algorithm after that all we have to do is find out the maximum sum since uh, maximum sum since each node can have values like from minus tens power 5 to plus tens power 5 i initialize maximum with minus tens power 5 result is equals to level 1 and then we are traversing all of the levels from 1 to max level if the level sum is greater than the current max update the level uh, levels maximum level sum and the result and finally return the result and you can see my submissions this code i'll be providing the, the the code in the description of the video so you can use it as reference so you can see how this code has already been accepted okay so if you have any doubt or query of course you can ask in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and until the next video drops keep coding thank you